Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, hope you guys are all doing well. I'm up against Wakun, who has a number 25 global tournament finish, but I do have a number 22 myself, so I shouldn't be too worried. But in today's video, this is no expo deck, we are actually going to be playing Minor Control. So this is one of, if not the best deck in the entire game right now. And as you can see, we have Minor Wallbreakers with the Evo Knight, the Little Prince, and the Bomb Tower. So I'm just going to Wallbreakers opposite, and then Knight to tank for my LP. As we see, a Bowler Tornado deck, so it looks like like probably electro giant he unfortunately gets two bowler boulders on my tower but since he has no barbarrel and cycle i'm gonna pressure with my goblins opposite as well as wall breakers in the right and i believe these should connect because he should be quite low on elixir one unfortunately gets kited towards the cannon but the other one as you can see goes kind of crazy i'm gonna have to go for an lp on this knight as well so i'll just go for one in the right so that it counter pushes towards the right lane as well and he actually does elect to lightning it off i'll just log it i don't want to waste a knight on that and then goblins the bridge. I don't know if he's back to his bar barrel or not, but I just want to force elixir out. Yeah, it looks like that was... Oh, wait, what? Okay, I'm lagging. Um, wait, what is going on? Okay, we force up the LP, which is fine. I'll go for my knight for the LP, as it does cross the bridge. And if, even if he goes ability, it's going to get taken out, so that is honestly fine. And... Oh, I'm actually still lagging. Wow, this is really weird. I might have to switch to data real quick, but yeah, guys, this is the best deck in the game or one of them. I honestly think it's one of the best ones, and sometimes you see Royal Delivery in place of Wall Breakers. You can honestly do either one. It's up to you. I personally do like Wall Breakers just because they're more offensive, so Delivery... I guess it depends on your playstyle, you know, delivery is pretty uh, defensive, wall breakers are more offensive, so it just depends on if you want to apply more pressure, or if you'd like to just, you know, um, be very defensive and defend pretty much any push in the entire game. This LP is going to counter push, oh I am lagging, I'm going to switch to data real quick guys. Uh, cause I cannot afford to lag out right now. Um, okay, looks like we forced out the barbarrel. I'll just go for my wall breakers at the bridge. Evo Knight the back for the LP as he forced the bowler out and Electro Giant's gonna be an interesting matchup. As you can see, he has not played his E Giant the whole game so far, but uh, there it is right on cue. So I'll just LP to match, same lane. Goblins for the left side. I think I can just ignore the right bowler and I'll just go minor wall breakers and I hope he doesn't nato this to King, although he could. Uh, he does, okay, yeah, so fair enough. Uh, I'll just knight to protect, though. And he goes for his own Evo Knight for my Evo Knight. We are actually in the damage lead right now. I'll just go LP ability because I do not really want to have to waste a bomb tower. I have a feeling he's back to his second E-Giant in the left, but I'm just going to pressure to force him to defend. And we are going to get some decent chip. I could poison that, but it's going to go into the left lane pretty soon, so I think there's not much of a point. Although, if he does go E-Giant, I might actually just poison on defense here um, to take the LP out. So, big thing about this deck, guys, is defensive poisons. And honestly, they are very underrated. He does go for the Lightning. I'll just go for a second Bomb Tower real quick, and then an LP. He does go Garden Ability too, but this is all getting kited into the Bomb Tower, so this is pretty chill, to be honest. Um, I'll wall break it as well. As you can see, they are an extremely powerful kiting tool, and that's why I honestly do think wall breakers deserve a nerf. That is one of my biggest hot takes in Clash Royale that people do disagree with me on, but. I just really dislike the Wallbreakers, man. Like, there is nothing in the game that can get a positive elixir trade against them, except for Skeletons. Log, Barb Barrel, so all small spells are even elixir trades, and then oftentimes you have to make negative trades. For example, Cannon. It's just really annoying. I'm going to go for my Wallbreakers low to set up for a minor Wallbreakers push, and then go in. As you can see, they're literally going to connect if he does not play something down in time. They almost connected. He had to go for a Panic LP, almost. Um, I'll just bomb tower for this though. We have double knights going to work on that E-Giant. Don't even need to log there. Although I will have to poison yeah, because he is back to an E-Giant. I'll just poison. As you can see, poison on defense is kind of crazy too, because it does slow the E-Giant down to the point where um, it's actually going to help me defend even better. I'm going to go LP ability too to knock this back. And this is a very even match for the first game, but I'll just keep pressuring with minor wall breakers. Honestly, if I did have the road delivery, I would have better defense, but I might not get as much offensive pressure going, so I do, again, uh, like the Wallbreakers quite a lot. I'm a big fan of them. Uh, just gonna poison that, honestly. I'm gonna have to start poisoning the tower pretty soon, but I'll just try and uh, prevent any kind of LP value for now. Especially because the longer the LP's on the board, uh, the longer he has a 3-card cycle for. And oh no, that bull is gonna hit my tower, so I'll have to go in. Oh, but my Wallbreaker connects! Look at that, guys! Oh my god! I'll go for my knight for this bowler. He might nato it in, um, so I'm a bit wary of that. Honestly, I just have to stall, so I'll just try and stall this out. I'll go for my defensive minor. does go for a good nato, but uh, we're chilling. 
and a wall breakers again to pressure knight and then if he doesn't respond to the wall breakers as you can see he's going to be in trouble that's going to be game i don't think lightning does enough so that's a really nice win against wakun who is a pretty good player playing electro giant for the first match so again this deck is so good i really think it can beat pretty much any matchup with the exception of i guess lava hound decks because we don't really have much air defense at all in this deck but honestly you can also beat lava hound like i have seen muhammad light beat lava as you can see guys we are eight and oh in a grand challenge right now so doing really well i've just been kind of having fun with this deck and some other decks uh, into our next match gonna minor wall breakers first play it's honestly a pretty solid starting play as he goes for the cannon and bar barrel honestly bad bar barrel because i think both those wall breakers would have connected to the cannon regardless so it looks like he overcommitted quite a bit but i'll take it that's a five for five and i guess he just panicked um and since he has no bar barrel on cycle i could pressure with goblins at the bridge if i want to and just force a positive elixir trade on my side yeah knight comes down so all night i could lp but all night to get my evo cycle going and honestly guys this deck is just full of broken cards i feel like maybe like four cards in this deck could get nerfed um number one is obviously little prince i believe it is going to get nerfed next season which is very long overdue does go for another cannon i'll just goblins for the lp there is no way he can afford ability in time because he just went for his uh lightning and cannon on defense so yeah we're chilling um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like LP's definitely deserving of a nerf, then I feel like Evo Knight doesn't really deserve a nerf, but it is one of the best Evos in the whole game. I mean, this deck is literally everywhere on top ladder, guys, so that's the reason I'm recommending it to you, because it's so strong, and, like, everyone is using it. Um, I'm just gonna go for a minor again. I don't know if he has anything good in cycle for this. Oh, Knight. Okay, that's fine. Um... Wallbreakers, you know my hot take of Wallbreakers needing a nerf. And then, honestly, Goblins, too. Goblins are one of the best cards in the game. Just a positive elixir trade machine is that card. Goes for a NATO. Looks like he was not really comfortable going for the King Tower activation, which I'm happy about because obviously that would not benefit me whatsoever. Um, Bowler comes down. I'll just poison it, to be honest. I mean, that's the lane I want damage in, anyways. Not the greatest poison, but I'll take it. And so we're against E Giant again, guys, which is pretty funny. Why is everyone playing Electro Giant? I don't know. But I'll just LP the back. Um, and I don't know if this is a good matchup. I think it's close to even ish. But I feel like uh, at a top level, Miner should probably win. And I feel like you can say that about a lot of matchups with this deck. Like, even if uh, there are like some tough matchups for this deck, I feel like most of them Miner can beat, which is just ridiculous. Also, since my LP is going to survive, I'm going to go for Miner Wallbreakers. He has to go Barb Barrel or NATO. That works too. While well, Miner's going to go to work on the tower. And as you can see, he could not go for a NATO on my uh, Miner to the King because he had to commit to my spam. Although I feel like he could have gone maybe Barb Barrel, but I'll just Goblins the bridge to pressure again with my Miner. He's going to be in trouble. He has to, like, choose. Yeah, Barb Barrel comes down. And my Miner's just going to town. Like, he's only gotten lightning damage on my tower. Meanwhile, I am getting lots of Miner chip. And again, I'm going to force out a cannon right now. That's going to be a negative one trade every single time. Or bowler, which is fine too. And look at that guy's bowler. He messes up and one wall breaker connects. And that is insane. Like, you think about it, for only one elixir, that's what, like 500 damage? It's just nuts. So that's honestly a good game already. He even gives the oops. But yeah, like that is definitely GG. Sometimes if you don't know what to do with this deck, you can just pre-cycle a bomb tower. And it should be pretty fine. He's probably going to lightning. He does. Um, a wall breakers to cycle and then go goblins. As you can see, guys, goblins on defense, like, they don't even die to the E giant tick. So they get so much value. And one wall breaker connects in the right, which is pretty funny, to be honest. I'll once again go for my minor wall breakers in the left. And wall breaker is going to blow up that cannon to get, like, one or two more hits out of my minor. And we are still up a thousand. So, like, you can see the general principles of the stack, right? It's basically just pressure lightly opposite lane, defend for cheap, and rinse and repeat. Um, again, I'm going to go in, minor goblins, why not? And he goes for a pretty good lightning. Um, I'll just LP over here, I guess, and thankfully that bowler is not on my tower. But the minor goblins went crazy. I got like 300 damage for that, and forced out a knight as well, and the knight's like half dead. I'm going to poison on defense here, guys. Again, I do advocate for defensive poisons with this deck when necessary. Um, I'll go for my wall breakers too. He is going to have to respond to those. Um, one LP does... Uh, one Wallbreaker does die to the LP, but the other one doesn't. And I'm going to go for an anti-lightning bomb tower right now. So even if he wants to lightning it, he can't hit my tower. I'll just log, minor... Uh, I guess I'll minor the back and then Wallbreakers too. You guys know about this principle called pressure while defending. It's pretty common. A lot of top players talk about it. Oh, he messed up his NATO, but I think he's still going to defend that fine. But yeah, it's basically just, you know, while they're defending, you want to spread their elixir thin. Don't let them get full value. So you basically just go, you know, minor Wallbreaker's opposite while they're going for a huge push. And it's going to be pretty clutch. Going to go for a second bomb tower. 
as you can see, it's just rinse and repeat cycle, and just pretty clean gameplay overall. Just modern wallbreakers again, and every single time he is just uh, taking damage. He finally gets the King Tower activation. I was about to say, is he finally going to get it this time? But it's still too little, too late to be honest. I'll just poison the tower, and I can get another poison down because this deck just cycles incredibly fast. Um, log goblins, and I'm already back to another one. I'll just Evo Knight to be safe and then poison and yeah ggs as you can see like you can out damage a lightning deck which is just crazy um so yeah i mean i don't know what else to say about this deck other than it's just like it's kind of intuition there are lots of tricks with this deck of course like you know goblin is the bridge a uh, big part of this deck is cycle counting because you know minor is a very big uh, punish deck in single elixir especially if you watch people like mohammed light play this deck you will see they get so much value out of just single elixir all the time they get like maybe 1,000, 2,000 damage leads sometimes, just by completely dominating and manipulating the opponent's cycle. But that is two straight wins against E-Giant, and you, as you saw, I just beat Goblin Giant MK, so if you're struggling against beatdown decks, guys, then I feel like this deck is pretty solid. Like, I think it does, at least, like, worst case, it goes even with Electra Giant, um, but it might even have matchup, I'm not sure. He gives the wow. I'll go for my minor wall breakers. As you can see, he's gonna mess up, and I think they're gonna connect. Oh my god, one connects for 400 damage. Like, uh, he got to go bowler NATO and still messed up. Like, that is a minus three for him, and he still takes damage. Like, that's how broken wall breakers are. We see bowler NATO again. It's gonna be E-Giant for the third game in a row. That's crazy, guys. Like, what is up with E-Giant in grand challenges right now? Um, I mean, I guess it's a really good deck. It's one of the best decks in the game, but still. We see a knight. I'll just LP the back. He might lightning, I'll be fine with that, I guess. Um, and I really want to pressure, actually. Like, I just really like pressuring with this deck. Okay, it gives me a free poison, actually. I'll just take that. I feel like that was a misplay. He probably should have gone LP opposite lane. Although, I guess he wanted to have one down for my own LP. But that is going to die to the poison, as you can see. Another reason this deck is so good, guys, is because poison does kill a little prince. And little prince is literally everywhere in the meta. Gonna protect mine with the goblins and then minor wall breakers. He just went for bar barrel, so he has nothing great in cycle right now. Bowler is gonna attack the wall breakers. Okay. If that attacked the minor, that would have been so perfect, but it's fine. Uh, we are still up like 700 now, and I can just once again knight for the bowler. By the way, guys, I don't think he has NATO in a cycle, so I can just go for a knight like this. But if they do have NATO in a cycle, watch out for bowler NATO pushes always. So you don't want to go knight right in front of the bowler, of course. You want to go like right on top, ideally. But I didn't need to just now because he had no uh, NATO in cycle even. But I'll go for my LP to take his LP out. Um, his one's going to charge up faster, but mine will still stay alive. I don't really see the point in going ability here, to be honest, because I feel like he's just going to defend it very easily so yeah i won't even go ability there e joint comes out just gonna minor wall breakers again like this is just positive elixir trade machine and he has no elixir guys he just went knight so e giant knight is 10 elixir that is a huge mistake he should have probably gone cannon or i guess like barb barrel maybe but yeah you can see what he messed up with right like e giant the back knight that's 10 elixir single elixir doesn't generate that fast so He's just screwed. As you can see right now as well, by the way, guys, I'm separating my LP and bomb tower so he could only lightning one. He does elect to lightning off the LP, which I think is a smart play because he's not going to break through either way. And LP does offer more value on the board than a bomb tower does. But still, you know, he's just kind of in trouble. And I think it might be time to go wallbreakers in the right now. Um, this deck does thrive on dual lane pressure too. I know in the last matches, I kind of went in the same lane the whole game. But uh, eventually when your opponent starts going same lane as you, you don't really want to allow that to happen, so that's why I'm just going for my uh, wall breakers in the other lane. And I'm just going to poison on defense again. If they have like a huge clumped up push, then you can just poison on defense just fine. Going to minor wall breakers once more. Um, he has to do something. Yup, goes for the cannon. And he's not going to nato the minor to king, so I still get like three hits. This is perfect. I'm up like so much. This is I an even better game than the other two, I feel. And the other two weren't even bad. Like the first one was close. Last one wasn't really close at all. And this one's just looking like an absolute wash. Um, I'll LP the back. I honestly could poison the tower. But I think I'll just do the opposite lane pressure once more. If he ignores these, that's going to be, again, like 800 damage, however much that was. Yeah, he doesn't even ignore them this time. And uh, second bomb tower is in business pretty soon. You can't place it right away because of that bomb blocking it, which is kind of annoying. But it's not too big of a deal. I think I have to go something on this as well. I'll go for my goblins. And I oh, wall breakers now. Again, cannon's going to be forced out. And that's just a minus one every single time. So that's why Wallbreakers are just so strong. And they full counter the cannon as well. Like, that's just insane. Uh, I'm going to go for my anti-lightning bomb tower. Looks like he predicted a miner with his knight the back. And I'll actually just poison tower right now because he went LP. 
kind of a sacrificial LP. I'll actually log before we can even go ability, but the LP does get taken out by my bomb tower because he kind of placed it badly. So, and he's just constantly going E giant the back, which is what he has to do to be fair. But like, there's just nothing that's really working out for him. He can NATO to king now, I think. Um, goes bar barrel instead. That's going to be like four minor hits every single time. Five, s five hits. That's nuts. And now I can just go for the double poison. Like this deck cycle so fast, especially with an LP down, and that's going to be a good game, guys. Crazy win. Not even close at all. I won by over two thousand HP. So we just beat E Giant three times. You could call this the E Giant Slayer, I guess. Like this video is just E Giants getting destroyed back, uh, like <laughs> left back and center. I don't know, but. I don't know why there's so much E Giant. Like that's the same deck order too. That's crazy. Is that the same person, or is that just is that deck just so popular that literally everyone is running it? Well, we found another match against a Japanese player. Hope to get some diversity now because you know this deck is literally everywhere. This E Giant deck, and I don't want to have a GC of five straight E Giant wins. Like I mean, a win is a win, but yeah, another starting play you can make, guys, is wall breakers like that. Finally, we see a bomb tower, which is a good sign. We're gonna see a different deck this time. Goblins. Okay, gonna be Hoggy Q or a mirror matchup, most likely. Because those are the two most common decks with those cards. He does go for the minor wall breakers. Smart going minor at the back because he knew I was not playing Tornado. He knows I'm playing the same deck as him. And so we are up for a game, guys. Finally, a different matchup. Minor poison mirror match. It is gonna be pretty exciting, I think. Um he does have Wallbreakers too instead of del Delivery. I don't know if Delivery is better than Wallbreakers in the Mirror matchup. I feel like Wallbreakers are better. Um, what would Wallbreakers be worse in? I feel like... I don't know, because I mean Lava Hound. Delivery is actually super clutch on defense against Lava Hound. But to be fair, Delivery is so clutch as well. Or actually, no, I just, I just said Delivery is clutch. But to be fair, Wallbreakers are clutch as well because you do need the offensive pressure. Um, so I don't really know how to feel about that. I feel like against Beatdown... Um, it's probably going to be a five minute game anyway, so you are probably going to need delivery, I guess. And unfortunately, guys, for me, one wallbreaker does connect. That is so unfortunate. I'm going to go for my minor wallbreakers myself. And very smart bomb tower, just a plus one for him. That's going to easily defend the whole push. So we are in trouble now. We are down like 400, and I think I'm down elixir too. Uh, so this guy got a pretty good start to this match. But I, th I think what I want to do is I might want to switch lanes pretty soon. We'll see. I don't really play this deck, by the way. Like, I pretty much just play expo but i'm like versatile enough as a player that i can play pretty much any deck to a pretty high level especially a cycle deck and especially because i play top ladder i see other people play this deck i kind of know the play style from there plus spectating my friends um so i'm gonna go for my lp notice guys i'm going for these high lps every single time because i don't want to give him poison value at all and his lp is going to take mine out i think i'm fine with that to be honest like that's okay um all minor wall breakers again. I do have my Evo Knight now for this LP, which is pretty clutch. Log as well. Oh god, I missed one. Um, that's gonna hit my tower, isn't it? Oh my god, both hit tower. But both of mine hit tower as well. I wasn't even looking at his side. I was looking at my side because I got screwed over by the wall breakers. But uh, turns out I got damage back too. So I'll go for my minor wall breakers again. Just constant pressure. Goes for the log, but is gonna have to go for another tornado. Look at the side, guys. I'm gonna go for a prediction log. Look at the right, and I caught the goblins. Beautiful log. That's gonna be like two more night hits, and that was a perfect play. I knew. I was like, hold up, my knight's actually cooking. Let me pre-log because all he can really do is goblins for it. He's not gonna knight. I think he just went knight as well. So that was a perfect pre-log, and that's gonna be so much damage. Now I think I can win just by getting that damage in uh, the right lane. Gonna go for my minor wall breakers in the right again. And uh, poison the... Oh my god, wait, that was a misclick. No, I, I meant to poison the tower. And I missed the LP. Oh god, guys, I literally just poisoned nothing. I might have just given him the game, to be honest. I might have just given him the game. Because I literally just poisoned nothing. Oh my god. Um, I'll go in again. I'm selling the lead. I'll go minor poisons now. I have to. I have no choice. I'll just keep going for it. Lawbreakers 2. And uh, he's letting the miner go to town. That's actually just one more poison. So all I have to do is defend this last miner push. And I win. So Bomb Tower is going to defend the Wall Breakers, and all he can really do now is go Minor Poison. Um, I'll Goblins to predict. I'll go Knight up high for the LP, and then just Poison Tower. That's going to be a good game. That's Clutch, guys. That was really close. I almost choked with that terrible Poison, but thankfully I did a beautiful pre-log. I haven't done many good prediction logs like that, so that felt really good to get. And yeah, Mirror Matchup is down, so let's go. That's going to be 11 wins. Q-Time is going to take a while at 11 wins, guys, so I will cut it and be right back when we find the 12-win match. Alright guys, so I'm going to get him against CMG Jav Basoto. Sounds like Samuel Basoto, um, but I don't think it is. Like, what is Jav Basoto though? I have no idea. But I'll just go for my minor wall breakers first play. As we see a bowler again and barbell, but terrible barbell guys. Both connect. 
That does about uh, 800 damage, not 1,000. So each one does like 400. But still, look at that, guys. Bowler Barbarrel is not full counter a minor wallbreaker's push. That's crazy. Um, and just like that, I think we might have won. This looks like Egyan again, by the way, unless it's like Lumber Loon. Which I think is one of the few bad matchups for this deck, because we don't have much air. Again, air is a big weakness of this deck, I do admit it. If you want to substitute some cards in this deck, though, guys, you can substitute the Bomb Tower for a Tesla if you want more air defense. You can substitute it for an Inferno Tower if you want to snipe Beatdown. Um, you can also sub out, like, LP for Firecracker, I guess, if you don't have a Little Prince. But honestly, this deck mainly works because of Little Prince, because it's so broken. Like, there is a minor deck that doesn't have LP, but LP is just so broken. Like, it's such a good card. He might Lightning this. I think he will, because he saved up a lot of Elixir. Yeah, he does. So I'll go for my Goblins. Wallbreakers to Pressure. Don't even need to log. Look at those Goblins just going to town, as well as the Death Bomb doing work. So we are up a 1,000, guys, against E-Giant again. I can't believe we're against E-Giant again. It's crazy how popular this deck is. That's five games I played, and four of the matches were this exact same deck. So... Well, I guess he might have Evo Archers instead of Evo Knight. I don't think we've seen the Knight out of him yet, but still. This is just nuts. Bowler. I'll go Miner. Um, safe spot, and let's see if we can get... Oh, he does have the Knight, so... Okay, it's the exact same deck, guys. Literally, what do you know? I'll LP on the left. LP does get countered by Bowler, so that's why Bowler is so popular right now. But, um... You just want to avoid using it on a bowler if you can, or if you are going to use it on a bowler, you want to protect it, that's for sure. I'll go knight like this, and wallbreakers too. He goes for a really aggressive nato, I'll just bomb tower. He is going to be able to get some pretty good damage with that bowler's boulder. Um, but my LP's alive, guys, look at that. And it's going to take most of that bowler out, actually. I'll log to maybe buy myself even more time. Okay, bad timing, but still. We're still up a thousand damage, I am big chilling right now. Going to knight to match the E-Giant. And I guess split Goblin... Oh, Wallbreaker's the back, actually. Because I want to go for Wallbreaker's in the left constantly. But if you can't go right away, you can always go Wallbreaker's the back. In fact, guys, one of the best starting plays with this deck is actually Wallbreaker's behind your King Tower. It's, like, really um, passive. But it's, like, one of the best plays overall. I know Muhammad Light uh, just goes for it. He did it in CRL. Like, it's just a top-level play, you know? Gonna have to Bomb Tower. This is bad because I feel like he's back to e -Giant. He should probably e the bridge. In the left, if he does, I'm going to be in trouble, so I'm just going to full focus on defense. Okay, he does go for the bowler, so I'm fine. I'll go minor wallbreakers again. Bad knight. Um, he might nato to king now. No, he doesn't, so we are big chilling. You want to mix up your miners, guys. You don't want to always go in the safe spot, because they will catch it every single time. But you do want to go for your um, miners like in the safe spot sometimes. And then you also obviously want to defend, uh, or you want to prevent them from catching it every single time. So you want to switch it up sometimes, but it's, it's variable. Like, don't always go in the back, because they will just get a free King Tower activation as well. Uh, so just mix it up, you know, is what I'm trying to say. And we're just going to poison this bowler. I did this play in the last match, too. I don't think it's an amazing play, but I feel like it kind of works, because especially because I have so much damage already. I don't know why he's like overloading. Okay, he's going for a Knight Bowler and then an E-Giant push. I'm just going to get back to a Poison if I need to for this right side. Um, don't think I need to, though. Do I? Knight's going to get on the LP, which is clutch. LP's going to kind of melt that Knight because it's max charge, but I'll log and Miner on defense. Don't be afraid to Miner on defense, by the way, guys, especially against like Bridge Spam. I feel like this deck beats Bridge Spam quite easily. Um, of course they have like so much spam, right? They have Bandit, they have Royal Ghost, so you don't- you only have Knight Goblins if they outcycle both somehow. Don't be afraid to Miner on defense. I'll go Knight, LP, Log as well, and uh, yeah, this is Triple Elixir now. We are up almost a thousand, basically a thousand, so I feel really good about this position, to be honest. I'll actually just take the poison on the LP at this point, because I don't really need the damage that much in the left, and I'll just keep pressuring with Minor Wallbreakers again. Bowler's gonna, not going to hit the wall breakers. That's going to explode if he doesn't respond. Barbarrel misses both. That's going to connect, and that's going to be a good game. Very nice win. He was a good game, too. Wow. Okay, good sport. We'll give him the good luck and the giant thumbs up. And that's going to be 12 wins, guys. 12 and 0. Flawless GC with one of the best decks in the entire game again, in my opinion. So that was really clutch. We just destroyed E-Giant. If you guys hate E-Giant, I know a lot of you do. Then hopefully that was kind of cathartic for you, I guess. But yeah, that was clutch. You know, I'm really happy with that. Um, just destroying E-Giant and playing well. Like, this deck has so much defensive capability and offensive with the Wallbreakers. But again, if you want, you can substitute Wallbreakers out for delivery. I do personally like the Wallbreakers, though. And we get E-Giant for the last card, which is kind of fitting, I guess. Um, but yeah, as you can see, guys, flawless GC, 12 and 0, 12 straight wins. Uh, so yeah, not sure what else to say. I did beat MK Goblin Giant before this as well. I guess I might as well show you guys that replay because... 
it's going to be a bit boring to get like you know uh, five, four E Giant games in one video. I want to give you guys some diversity, so I'll show you guys this win against this guy who was playing one of the most toxic decks in the game as well, MK Goblin Giant. I hate this deck, and this deck does super well against Expo, so I'm very proud of beating it, of course. And I feel like this deck does pretty well against decks like these, you know, this minor deck. So minor first play, pretty safe starting play. As for starting plays with this deck, I feel like minor first play is fine. Split Wallbreakers is fine. Log is fine, and Goblins are fine too. LP is so so i don't like cycling it that much um i feel like wall breakers are the like lowest risk highest reward starting play if you know what i mean anyway lp and thankfully the bats go in front of that goblin giant honestly guys i feel like if he fireballed this lp plus bomb tower i would have been screwed but thankfully for me he goes for the rage instead for whatever reason i guess he was in an angry mood so he does not really get much he doesn't get any damage out of that push actually and now we go for a minor because my LP is surviving. It's counter pushing. It's going to get on the tower, getting like three hits. So pretty good chip. Four hits. I just log. Hitting the goblins and fishermen. And we are only down like one and a half elixir right now. Um, but we have like a nice damage lead, you know? Pretty solid. And there's wallbreakers again. He does actually MK. So this is what I meant, guys. Wallbreakers are a positive elixir trade machine. That is a minus five for him. Like, who wants to go for that? Seriously. So that is a crazy... Uh, crazy push. He goes bats, which is a good play. I was not ready for that, actually. So I go LP, like, kind of late, and then goblins. I don't go goblins right away, but I realize he fireballs me off, so I have to go goblins. Otherwise, the MK is going to jump onto my tower. So, nice save on my end. I wallbreakers to... Or, I minor wallbreakers now. And this is the exact moment of hand and card cycle counting, guys. He had nothing in hand. Um... And he was kind of low on elixir. He had fishermen, he had goblins, but he did not. He, if he went like fishermen, goblins on the wall breakers, that would have been fine. But I went wall, I went minor, and I staggered my wall breakers a bit so that he responded to the minor right away with the fishermen. So he was so low on elixir, and he had nothing in hand, like no fireball, no uh, MK. So that was a beautiful punish, and that's what minor wall breakers is all about. Again, just single elixir punishing. Um, and now I'm up like one thousand three hundred. So. I pretty much am in the driver's seat to win this game. All I really have to do is just defend and chill. Um, I think I LP here. Yeah, I do. I don't really see the point of going in that much um, when he has something in the back. So I go in now. And here, just poison on defense because I do not want to mess around with Evo Bats. Those cards are ridiculous. And as you can see, Wallbreakers being one of the best cards in the game again. Kites the MK over. And one actually would have connected to Tower, guys, I think, if he didn't respond. That's insane. Making it halfway across the world to the other guy's Tower is absolutely ridiculous. But I just knight here, um, and I think he gives up here because, I mean, he's down elixir right now. I have a knight and a bomb tower on the board, and I'm going to just keep pressuring, and he can't do anything about it. Like, this is a pretty good matchup for me. And this deck is honestly pretty oppressive. Like, literally, it just goes absolutely crazy in a lot of situations where your opponent just can't do anything about it. So, that's why I really think this deck is so good and so easy to play, honestly, guys. There's a high skill ceiling for sure, but it has a pretty low barrier to entry, I feel. And so definitely feel free to give this deck a try. Um, this is recorded before the next balance changes, so this deck might get nerfed pretty hard because it's so broken. But in the meantime, might as well use it while you still can. So that's going to be for the video, guys. Again, 12-0 Flawless GC. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.